Hi, everybody. It is uh, the Monday, the 25th of July. We've got a little over a month left to go on the tour. I think we finish on the 28th of August. <clears throat> we just finished a, kind of a grueling 24 hours on our bus. It's really weird to get on the bus and uh, it's pitch black outside and then you drive and drive and you get off the bus and it's pitch black outside. Um, and it's been daytime between and you never saw it really. Uh, we didn't stop for anything except fuel. There was no food stops or anything. We were just munching on crap that was on the bus, pretzels and cheese and stuff. But we made it in and we are in New Jersey now. Um, half the guys that were, they were all on the other bus, the bus broke down. Um, so they ended up flying to New Jersey. And uh, I think they're probably coming in today because tonight is a night off. And then we have six, I believe six in a row after this. But um, I guess their bus is fixed. So it's in route uh, here now. But uh, it's just, it's, it's the world of touring. Uh, you know, people get used to seeing that stage and thinking that's that's the scene, and boy, there's so much else that can go on around it. But one of the fun things has been um, kind of having uh, Brad Lele, um, Lely, um being uh, kind of the focus of some of these videos. It's really been a kick. Um, but I came, uh, I was uh, turned on to this uh, video, and I thought this was really interesting because people have asked me, they said, what's uh, some of Brad's history you know, what's because I've only met him doing this tour. This is my first experience with Brad, and we hit it off immediately. He's this great guy, great musician, just a great hang. Um, so I thought I would show this little uh, video about him, which might answer a few questions for people. So here we go. Let me hit this, and we are off and running. Oh, this is what's crazy. I sit there and I, 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 I touch my computer screen like it's like it's a iPad or a phone, I actually have to actually have to drag over a mouse and, and do it. Here we go. I love all music. Music where you can be free and express yourself. I would not limit it to just jazz. I would just say good music. My first major gig was with Harry Connick Jr. We played all over the world. From there, I went to the Count Basie Orchestra. I also played with Clark Terry, the Series Kennedy Center Honors Program, where we played the inauguration for President Obama. I got to back up so many wonderful artists, Steven Tyler, Kid Rock, Bruno Mars, Lyle Lovett, Beyonce. I do have a solo recording career. I have several groups. I love to practice. I love to be prepared. If I'm going to perform, the, what I'm doing before performing is practicing. A regular gig that we have here in Denton, Texas is Steve's Wine Bar with Jeffrey Eccles, Sergio Palmez, and Quincy, Quincy Davis, wonderful drummer. I love having a steady gig somewhere. It keeps the cobwebs off. I'm so busy with school and teaching that I'm very limited in what I can do locally. I try to get to the office so I can practice for at least an hour before I start teaching. Don't even look at the music. Stop looking at the music. Turn the music off. I'm serious. This is a crutch. This sucker is a crutch. Just turn it around. 
around. Right, we're just improvising at that se se section right there, okay? Coda, one, two, uh. Don't worry, man. Come on. Come on. Now who's sitting there talking about, oh my gosh, she didn't play a B flat on that minor chord. Man, that's not what it's about right now. It's about getting together and playing some music, playing some expression. Now, once we get her to that point, then let's go in with that. Typical day is just delving into music in every aspect, sharing information, either one-on-one -on -one or class participation. I'm really inspired by students that are hungry. They inspire me to not only be a better musician, but a better teacher as well. I think that I was extremely fortunate because I grew up in a time where you could still go and sit in and learn with these great local musicians who had their own style, their own sound. That's one of the things that we as teachers have to try to convey to these students. Not only push the boundaries in terms of harmony, rhythm, education, we also have to push the boundaries in terms of expression. This music is so powerful, it's so wonderful, and we cannot forget that at the end of the day, after all the studying, after all the learning, it's about the music. It's about the music. So that's Brad. That's Brad. Um, we have such a good time uh, sitting and talking all the time. He sees so hungry for information. He's always picking my brain and he was talking about maybe me coming to North Texas at some point or doing something at the, at the school, um, which I would love to do. So we'll see what happens with all that. But I'll tell you, it is a pure joy to be on the road with this guy. Um, and boy, he's not kidding about practicing. You know, every time I, uh, uh, we get to a gig, he finds a room and he's in there working at it. And uh, I'm incredibly appreciative of uh, another musician who feels that way. But everybody on this tour is that way. It's a incredibly gifted bunch of musicians that Lyle's assembled on this tour. So um, if you get a chance to see the show, enjoy it, because it is pretty amazing. Other than that, I'm probably going to do another video. Uh, I had something else I had planned, but I came, was turned on to this, and people keep asking, what's, what's little of Brad's story? So I figured this is the perfect way because I found that on Facebook, and I know a lot of people don't do Facebook but come to this channel. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'll try to share anything here that I find on Facebook that you might not otherwise get a chance to see. Uh, feeling pretty spaced right now after that long-ass <laughs> drive yesterday, but... Um, all's good. So uh, you take good care and I'll be back soon. Other than that, my best wishes to everybody in practice. Bye.